News exclusive now. For the first time tonight, we hear from one of the Bay Area's most notorious criminals, Stephanie Ragusa. She's the teacher who had sex with two of her middle school students. And tonight, she is apologizing to her victims. Here's our Serena Fazan with this exclusive interview. It's good to see you. In a prison that houses the most violent female criminals, really? Stephanie Ragusa still wears that smile. Yeah, there's so many questions I have for you. Okay. The smile that made her infamous. We saw it in mugshots when she was arrested multiple times and in court. Nearly three years after she was first charged with sleeping with two of her students, yeah, only 15 right. and 16 you know, years old, she still shows no remorse. To me, it just seems like it's a witch hunt. Sitting with me, she portrayed herself as the victim, claiming she smiled because she was shocked at her arrest. I was like, am I, am I being punked? Like, I'm like, where's Ashton Kutcher? I, I really didn't, it didn't sink in. And explaining that smile. I don't know, when it comes to those moments where I know there's going to be a photo, when I know there's going to be a camera, I try to pull it together. I try to look composed. Some people would say that those um, explanations are absurd. They, they haven't walked these shoes. It's, it's not sick. It's not that it's a joke. It's not a joke to me. She was snubbing her nose at the system. Prosecutor Rita Peters, who handled Ragusa's case, tells me she was prepared to take her to trial, prepared to send this teacher away for the rest of her life. I was shocked that she had changed her plea. Growth can emerge from error. It was the morning of her trial. Ragusa decided to plead guilty. For the first time, we hear why. And so I'm sitting there, I'm all emotional, I'm driving down to the courthouse, I'm being taunted by the other guys and you know that are riding in the courthouse. I pull up, there's like every media truck in the world. I just realized, and I was sitting there, that I'm not gonna get that neutral jury. She still claims she's innocent. But as you sit across from me today, mm -hmm. you are saying that you did not have sex with those two right. boys. That's right. A shocking statement when you look at the overwhelming evidence from DNA to this cell phone video seen for the very first time, capturing a kiss between her and one of her victims. Yeah, I gave him a kiss goodbye. Can't first imagine. of all, it's a Spanish culture. It's not a passionate thing. You know, some people would think that is absurd to blaming the Spanish culture. People say that, but here's the thing is, I'm not sitting, I'm sitting in prison for the accusation of having sex with kids. It is not a crime to kiss someone. Whether you think it's appropriate or not is one thing or another. That's a matter of personal opinion. Not only is that not true, Peter says this woman is a predator. She is someone who preys upon our most vulnerable members, our children. If I had to sum up your attitude in one word, it would be arrogance. Ragusa will sit in prison for 10 years, one of the harshest sentences handed down to a teacher. Do you feel that your victims deserve any type of apology? Absolutely. I think that I wish things were, were different from the start where none of this could have ever been misconstrued. And as far as prosecutors are concerned, she definitely is someone who belongs in prison. Ragusa can keep smiling all she wants to behind bars. Serena Fazan, ABC Action News. To read and watch more of Serena's interview with Ragusa, go to our website, abcactionnews.com. There you'll also find all the past stories we've done on Ragusa, as well as other local teacher sex scandals. Again, that's at abcactionnews.com.